Hello the internet and welcome back. A quick follow up on my previous video where I tested some of my CPUs and I ended up uh, testing some AMD CPUs and I determined that those CPUs were faulty because they were completely dead. Now I got some comments under that video. Thank you very much to everybody. Uh, basically saying that this motherboard has a jumper for a slower FSP setting. And some of these CPUs, which I was testing, uh, they actually needed that slower FSP setting. Now the jumper in question is here, is uh, JP1, it's currently open and the motherboard says that CPU clock is not actually the CPU clock, it's the FSB clock and the short is 100 megahertz and open as it is right now is 133 and 166. This is the AMD Athlon I was testing which worked and that's an Athlon AXDA 2500DKV4D and if I look online this is a CPU which requires a 133 MHz FSB so that falls into the jumper open realm. However, that's not the case for the other two CPUs. That is the AMD Duron, and it's almost impossible to read it. It's a DHD1100DAMT1B. And if I look online, these requires a 100 megahertz uh, FSP. So that would work with the jumper closed. And the same for this AMD Athlon, which is uh, A1200AMS3B. And uh, again, I checked online and this is also a CPU which requires a 100 megahertz FSB. So chances are these CPUs are actually working. Let's test them real quick. I've got the working Athlon in the socket. I just wanna make sure that everything still works. So let's power up and see if we're getting anything. Well, we should get something because it was working. Yes, this is posting fine. AMD Athlon XP 2500. Okay, so now let's uh, remove the CPU. I'll begin with the Duron. That was pretty mangled if you remember that video. So I'm kind of not expecting this to work, but now I'm really, really curious. And most importantly, I'm going to put a jumper on this JP1 to force the SSB at 100 megahertz. Is this gonna work? I'm really curious. Let's uh, turn it on. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> it's working. AMD Duron 11, 1100 megahertz. Wow. <laughs> so it was just a jumper. Let's uh, run a little something and let's make sure everything works. And it's definitely working. I don't know where that um, graphic corruption is coming from, but I don't want to run it too much because my heatsink is kind of temporary, but it's definitely working. So I need to amend that little check mark. And uh, this is a totally working CPU. I'm very surprised because the die is really, really mangled. Let's test the other one. AMD Athlon is in the socket. Will it work? Am I going to get like two out of two working AMD CPUs? Let's, uh, let's turn on the motherboard. Three, two, one, go. No. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> it's working as well. AMD Athlon 1200. Perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> Well, it's absolutely amazing. I was not expecting this and I was not aware that you still had to do some jumpers on these uh, newer motherboards. Thank you very much to everybody who left a comment under the video for letting me know because, uh, you know, I was about to, I don't want to say dispose of these CPUs, but probably, you know, I would have, I would have probably put them somewhere where I didn't care too much about it. Totally working. Perfectly fine. I'm so happy. I need to change the uh, check mark on the CPU as well. Once again, thanks so much to everybody who left a comment about this and to everybody who watched the video. See you next time. Bye bye.